Young Adolf Thode was the very first dentist in Carbon County at the age of 18. Dr. Thode emigrated from Germany in 1876 to meet up with his family in Carbon, Wyoming. The Thode family left Germany seven years prior due to unrest in Central Europe. After settling in Carbon, he established the very first dental practice in the entire county. In order to be more available to a growing clientele base, Adolf made the decision to move to Rollins after practicing in Carbon for five years. Upon moving to Rollins, he became associated with doctors Thomas McGee and Dr. John Osborne and their young apprentice Lillian Heath. Heath, McGee, and Osborne were present at the autopsy of the infamous Big Nose George in 1883. However, it was in 1886 where Dr. Thode, Dr. McGee, and Lillian Heath would perform an almost miraculous feat. That year, sheep herder George Webb attempted to take his own life. Thankfully, Mr. Webb was unsuccessful, but was left mutilated. Dr. McGee, Thode, and Heath considered how to reconstruct the face of George Webb. After 30 surgeries, Webb became the first patient to have reconstructive surgery in Carbon County. The photos will show an almost unbelievable transformation. A procedure such as this, even with the benefit of modern medicine, is extremely difficult. His participation in this endeavor greatly increased his prestige as soon he would maintain clientele from Fremont County, Sweetwater County, and the rest of Carbon County. That same year, Adolf attended a bar dance hosted on a ranch near Saratoga, where he met the beautiful young Mabel Folsom. The pair courted for two years before tying the knot and had their first and only child, Crystal Alice Thode, two years later in 1890. Adolf held his practice in the same office on Cedar Street between 4th and 5th, on the north side of the street for better than 30 years. He was also an active member of his community, participating in fraternal organizations such as the Owls and the Independent Order of Odd Fellows and was honored as such when he passed away from myocarditis on June 13, 1957. Adolf had dedicated his life to serving the community of Carbon County and helped the community grow. He opened his office when the population of Rollins was only 700, and in the 60 years he lived here, he watched the population grow to over 6,000. Adolf was laid to rest in the Rollins Cemetery next to his parents and his loving wife who had passed 20 years prior. For watching this video from the Carbon County Museum. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to our channel, give the video a like, and add a comment. We'll see you on the next episode from the Carbon County Museum.